I'm just looking at this again and thinking, what does that even mean, <laughs> getting a new hobby? Why are you getting it? Who are you getting it for? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's my first video back after the festive celebration. So I just wanna wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you had a great time. And based on that, what I wanna to talk to you about today is New Year's resolutions, because we've all got them. It's a new year, we're hoping to achieve more, get more, and just be a better version of ourselves. And in order to do that, the first thing you really need to start to think about is what it is that you want. And what I've done, rather than just talk about New Year's resolutions in general, is look it up online and see what people are talking about, what the top five New Year's resolutions are, so that I can help you to reach those resolutions, achieve them, get what you want from them, and also many others too. But these top five are gonna help you just to understand how to achieve anything. Lose weight. This is a prime, normal one that everyone wants to do. They want to look better, right? Because the festive period has meant that we've probably drunk more, eaten more, been a bit lazier, not done as much exercise. And I know as a fact, I haven't been using my cross trainer as much. And I haven't been able to go to the gym due to lockdown. Therefore, it's a normal one that we're hoping that if we start doing it now, it means that by summertime, we'll be able to go to the beach, look great, and just feel better. And the thing about losing weight is, it's a fantastic New Year's resolution, but something that gets in the way is that it doesn't become a part of our life. Because we just think, well, I'm just gonna eat less, exercise more, and that'll be it. Whereas actually, you need to start thinking about how you're gonna create those new ways to relate to exercise and diet and everything, so that it becomes easy. Because when things get hard, or work gets tough, or school, or pressure, we end up doing anything else except exercising we go go back to our default behavior and default behavior based on christmas has been eating unhealthy food sitting still watching tv maybe playing video games doing anything except what you know you should be doing so then how can we start figuring out how you can start prioritizing exercise so that it becomes your default it's just something that you need to do but and people usually say to me they don't have the time to do it the other things came up and i say this to my clients a lot if i gave you a billion pounds would you exercise? And more times than not, they say yes, because that billion pounds is more important to them than sitting still. Therefore, start thinking about that in terms of what's the most important thing to you. Start prioritizing it and putting it as number one in your life. And this is something which is not just gonna help you in terms of your New Year's resolutions and losing weight, but more than that, it's gonna help you just to get whatever it is and prioritize the things that you need to do in your life so you end up doing them, getting rid of them, and being able to enjoy life more. The next thing I wanna talk about today, saving money. And saving money is something which is really tough to do because it's, it's really easy to think, oh yeah, I wanna save money. Who doesn't want more money? But what does that mean in terms of your lifestyle? What, does it mean you need to start spending less money on what, junk food, which would help with the diet? Or start spending less money going out, socializing with friends, maybe buying less stuff? But how else are you gonna get your sense of enjoyment? Because counting the pennies is gonna be a really tiring and laborious task. You're gonna get so bored because all those things that you felt give you that sense of happiness usually cost money. Because it's just become your default. It's just the way that you spend do stuff, gain happiness. So then saving money is gonna lead you to feel a little bit down, dejected. So what are you gonna do when that happens? How are you gonna build in a sense of happiness, pride, ambition, when you're so bored because you can't spend money, when you're trying to save all the money and all your friends are going out having fun, but you are not being able to go out and do the things and have that sense of freedom that you've been used to having. So then you need to start recalibrating the way that you see life. It's not something which is easy just to spend money and get that sense of happiness, but where else are you gonna get that happiness from? Is it maybe working on something at home? Is it doing something else? Is it creating a new way to see happiness. And that's interesting to me personally because so many of us have been used to doing the same things, expecting us to be happy. And we get a little glimpse of happiness, but it doesn't actually lead to any contentment in the long term. So how can you start to pivot on that and start thinking to yourself, okay, a little bit of happiness costs me money and I wanna save money. What can I do to give me a sense of contentment? As an example, maybe working at home, maybe connecting to people and not spending loads of money maybe doing something which would lead you to feel empowered and motivated throughout your life. Something to think about. I mean, for me, the answer was reading more, doing more videos, 
and buying some home equipment to work out at home. Because that, all of those things gave me a sense of pride and happiness, which can carry over into all different parts of my life. And it doesn't cost me anything now because I don't have to pay for tours to the gym. I've got some books to read and I've got all the equipment to create content with. And next on the list, find love. And finding love is something which is actually really hard to do because we need to go on dates, we need to meet people, we need to find that special person. And it's tough, especially with lockdown, because we don't have the freedom to go out and see the people we wanna see, go on dates, and just do things to connect to people. It's hard, but that doesn't mean that everything has to stop. You can still go on apps, you can still talk to people, and do virtual dates too. It's about you figuring out what love means to you right now. And hopefully when lockdown ends, we're able to go out and you can go on those dates and you can meet that person. And maybe if you think to yourself, well, actually, that's not my style. I don't want just to meet someone online for now. That's okay. Maybe park it for later when lockdown ends and we're able to go out and you're able to go on dates. It's all about listening to what it is that you need right now. And if that news resolution isn't right for you, that's okay. But make that decision that it's not the right time and use it and follow through with it. Be confident with that mindset. Getting a new hobby. Right, so new hobby, what does that mean? Different people have different interests. Therefore, work out what your interest is. Is it something which you've always wanted to do? and you've just been procrastinating because it's too hard to go out and, and, and get it done, that's okay because right now is the perfect time for you to make that decision, to do it. But you need to work out what that thing is. And more than that, how are you gonna figure it into your life? Because we've all got busy lives, we've got work, we've got school, we've got commitments, we've all got things that we need to do. And it's really hard to start at the bottom of something and not be very good at it and expect us to feel happy doing it. But the learning process of getting something done and being invested in it will mean that that new hobby will be a part of your life and something that you enjoy too. But the thing about that hobby is, you know, I'm just looking at this again and thinking, what does that even mean, <laughs> getting a new hobby? Why are you getting it? Who are you getting it for? Is it to show off to other people? Is it something that you want to do? Make sure that it's on point with your life, what you want, you, because you're going to be spending a lot of time doing it. And if you're doing it for someone else or something else, chances are you're not going to stick at it. So make sure that you're making that decision to do that hobby because it's something that you want. And once you've done that, work out what you need to do in order to, to get that hobby a part, as a part of your life. Maybe some parts of your life need to come down so that you're able to do that hobby and dedicate more time to doing it. For example, I can't play video games whilst I exercise, do YouTube videos, working, and doing all the other stuff that I need to do to have a business. So that had to go in the bin so that I was able to prioritize other parts of my life which were more on point. Why is it that you need a new hobby anyway? Maybe it's worth you siphoning out and thinking, what parts of life are not adhering to my needs anymore so that I don't have to do those anymore because I'm not feeling happy doing them and I can gain something else which is gonna give me a pride, a sense of happiness, a sense of self-esteem with that new hobby. Really the question I have for you at this point is why have you not done it already? Why have you waited till New Year's to get that new hobby? Because you've known that something hasn't been right for a while but yeah, that's something for you to think about also. Right now, remember, is the best time to start. Whether we call New Year's resolutions or anything else, make sure you make that first step for that new hobby right now. The last thing on that list was quit something. So some of the examples, quitting smoking, drinking, takeaways. It goes back to saving money really, which is you making a positive step in your life. And giving up something is so hard because it's become a part of our life, a part of our identity. How are you just gonna stop feeling something, wanting something, doing something just like that. It's so hard. So we need to find new ways in order to identify with the world and identify with ourselves so that when we feel that we want that cigarette or we want that takeaway or need a drink, we're able to replace it with something else so that you're able not to feel that there's a hole in your life. You feel that it's unfair. You get stressed because there's nothing else to do. So uh, a prime example and something which I hear about so much is using, uh, as an example, exercise to replace that thing. So that instead of needing that drink, you can do some press ups and get rid of some of that emotional stress of not having that thing, that crutch, that, 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 that substance or that activity in your life and you're just putting something else in, in its place. Because otherwise you're always just gonna be sitting there wanting it, waiting, feeling bad that you're not doing it. 
And that's the thing about all New Year's resolutions, is that they're all new things that we want in our life. They're things that we see as a positive, things that we want to work towards and grow and develop with. However, if we just think, I'm just going to do that thing, just like that, you'll never get it done because you'll never feel that sense of empowerment. You'll never enjoy it. If you don't enjoy doing something, you're not going to stick at it. So then you need to start thinking, okay, what is something that I'm really excited about? And how, if I need to give up something, can I substitute something else in its place? And also, if I need to or want to do something, a new resolution or a new hobby or a new habit that I want to have in my life, how can I make it as easy as possible for me so that I enjoy it, I find it exciting, and I'm doing it for the right reasons. And the right reasons is because you want to do it. That's it, that's the end of the video. I hope this video has helped you to understand that news resolutions don't need to be a scary bad thing. And in fact, they can be exciting, but you need to stick at them. You need to keep on doing them. I tell all my clients, 20 days. After 20 days of giving up something or doing something every day for those 20 days, it will be so much easier. That's the first step in making something a habit. So make sure that you take that 20 day challenge, go and knock it out of the park, and then in the end, in you know, a month's time, you'll think, what's the big deal? It's easy to get a new habit. The new resolutions are not that hard to stick to. Sticking to news resolutions are the hardest bit. You can have all the great ideas in the world, you just need to make sure that you stick at it. So, why don't you let me know how you get on with your news resolutions and also share with me some news resolutions that you have because I wanna know what people are going out there and what they want. And I can make some more videos on those resolutions in the future, helping you to stick at them and get the life that you want. Remember also to like this video and subscribe to see plenty more to come.